A first in the nation study happening in our backyard. In this week's Wildlife Watch, Ike Ben David finds out that the goal of the research is to track pollinators' preference. Cedar Circle Farm is home to about 25 acres of cropland growing organic produce. It's also the home of a new experimental garden. So we're trying to look at all the different mechanisms that could potentially influence these flower visiting pollinators. Desiree Norengo, a conservation scientist at the Vermont Center for Eco Studies, is spearheading the project. And one of the biggest questions that people had is, does it matter if I buy a plant at my store that's a local ecotype? And so I went into the literature and it turns out that there's never been a study of this like this in the United States. She says because of the horticulture supply chain, many plants we buy here, although native, are sourced from different parts of the United States. And so in this garden, we are looking at the effect of ecotype on insect support. And this is where we've decided to plant our experimental plants so that we can really control for how, uh, the conditions that these plants are in and fairly make comparisons among each one of these plants. The garden has specific plants planted in specific plots but are placed randomly. The study aims to track which plant pollinators pick. They're all really important pollinators, and they all might be selecting these flowers in different ways. So in our analysis, we're really interested in not just the overall activity of pollinators, but who actually is deciding to use these flowers. Is it generalist species that would go to anything, or is it the really specialized uh, pollinators that are very picky about their flowers? The hope is that the data can give scientists like Narango a map for a strong ecosystem for future planting. But if you go to a local nursery, nine times out of ten, those plants are either going to come from the Midwest because their supply chain is much more developed than we have here in the Northeast. So they're shipping plants from the Midwest just for sale. At the same time, we have po folks that are thinking about climate change. And so there's some conversation about bringing up genetic material from the Southeast so that plants will be well adapted for the climate that we expect in 50 years. So those are two different introductions that are happening. And we don't know what that means for our insects. We don't know if, that, if they'll recognize those plants or alternatively, these plants could be plastic enough that they just you know, adapt to this new situation that they're in. There are six plots like this around the region and they hope their data will yield results in a few years. You can check out the experimental garden at Cedar Circle Farm and Educational Center in East Thetford. Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News.